Mine is Ralph. Yeah. First transgender model to grace the cover of yeah. Playboy. Look at this. I mean, this is. I mean, she's a beautiful girl. This face. What are your thoughts? You know, this is stunning. This is a. a what, what, I mean, what does this mean? You know what I mean? I mean, I think that it's. I think that as people are becoming less hateful and more accepting, you know, I think that it's kind of sad because I think people have a lot of opinions on other people's lives when it's not your life, like in terms of the God of it all, which is always all of it to me, yeah, yeah. you know, God didn't ask us to go around and hate each other or judge each other. He asked us that the number one main thing was to love each other. You know, and I yeah. think if there was a lot more love and letting people live their lives and letting them grow and mature and whatever direction they go, at the end of the day, it's not your life. All you have to do is love and let people love. So, and I think that the more that that happens, you know, I think that, that this happening with this young woman is very special. And I think that it's beautiful, you know, and I'm happy for her. And if you had a message to, to her, you know, at this big moment, you know, her, what would you say? Man, I would say you were loved, and congratulations, and keep going, you know, and I think that um, it's important because there's kids out there that are committing suicide and don't feel like they're enough, and don't feel that they're loved, and don't feel that they can keep going, um, and, and by you just doing this and continuing to grow and to continue to keep going, you give them permission, and you give them license to keep going and to love themselves and to love the skin that they're in. And the only thing that matters is how God feels about you, not how anybody else feels about you. So keep going. Thank you for that. All right, first off, I want to say, Kalalal, Yehovah, Shemya, Washai, double honors to the apostles of GMS, from the apostle Tahara and Dome, salutations, love and respect and peace to the Akim out there, the sincere elect, the hopeful elect, you know, out there pushing this truth, you know, in sincerity, much um, honesty. Salutations also to the sisters, the believers, the helps tuning in that have the um, the faith of our Lord, the Shai. Now, <clears throat> what you have seen is the, the latest madness, you know, the latest vileness, you know, being pushed by um, this, this this wicked system, you know, this um this transgender LGBT vibration, you know, pushing out upon our people. Now, um, Playboy magazine, which is a an adult magazine, you know, whose founder has just passed away recently, Hugh Hefner, has no po has now published its first issue with a transgender playmate. The transgender is a French model by the name of Inez Rao. And what you have just seen is an interview by the actress Megan Good, where she's basically praising the model, you know, for, for her bravery, you know, and, and her beauty, you know, and saying that she shouldn't care about what people think because God, because God loves her, you know, and the only thing that matters is what God feels. Now, this is the, the mindset of the majority of the so-called, you know, Negro woman, you know, out there, you know, caught up in, um, in this present Babylonian captivity, caught up in this present Babylonian philosophy, you know, the vibrations of this, um, this, this present society where truth is all about lust, yo. All right, truth is all about lust. So we, we, we definitely, we are at the end now, Akim, if, if you look at, you look at what's going on over there in Syria, you know, with um, with with, with Turkey joining the fight with with um, Saudi Arabia, considering sending ground troops in, you know, with um, this new this new new development where a U.S. official is saying that uh, ISIS is planning a um, a 9/11 type attack, right? All all these things. You know, including the escalation of the conflict on the Korean Peninsula, is showing that we're at the end. You know? We've been at the end, but we're at the end of the end now, Akim. And as the Ella Yasha Wamba was saying in a recent video, you know, seeing that we are at the end, you know, it's time to really put away, you know, whatever, whatever is really burning, burning you, you know? whatever trials or tribulations or emotional distress you're going through. Later, side you. Know? Because this world, it, it, it's, it's swiftly coming to an end, yo. Swiftly coming to an end.
So let's just read through the article. This is one of the articles on the topic from BBC News. It was published 11 hours ago. And it says, Model Ines Rao becomes Playboy's first transgender playmate. And this is a picture of it. Right? It says, in the first issue since its founder Hugh Hefner died, the 26-year-old model appears in the magazine's coveted centerfold spot. The November-December issue is a 100-page tribute to Hugh, who was an advocate of the LG for LGBT issues. Right? It's not surprising. A black and white portrait of the businessman is the, is the magazine's front cover image. Ines first appeared in Playboy's May 2014 issue in a special edition, which looked as gender looked at gender as non-binary, meaning it doesn't only exist in male and female, but is a, is a spectrum. You know, gender is now a spectrum in 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 Esau's messed up, warped society. Oh. And no stranger to the modeling world, she's appeared in Vogue Italia. And starred in a campaign for fashion named Balmain or Balmo. Um, now, with the release of November's issue, she's become the first transgender playmate in the magazine's 64 year history. A playmate is a model who appears on the centerfold of the magazine as its playmate of the month. Here's another issue of her in um, Vogue Italia. Speaking to Playboy about her photo shoot, Ines said her centerfold spread reminds her of how far and she and other trans women have come. When I was doing the shoot, I was thinking of all those hard days in my childhood. Nudity means a lot to me since I went through a transition to get to where I want to be. Right? I know everything happening gives me so much joy and happiness. I thought I am going to be a playmate. Me, it's the most beautiful compliment I've ever received. <laughs> hey, let's just get into the precepts, you know, and see what the most I has to say about this. All right, this is first of all Isaiah 3 and verse verse 9 the shoe of their countenance doth witness against them and they declare their sin as Sodom they hide it not all right want their souls for they have rewarded evil unto themselves and they don't hide their iniquity oh. they declare it openly she says that she this is the most beautiful compliment she's ever seen she's ever um, received oh. not even she it Right, calling this this woman a um, a cheater at it. Right, it's it's complete madness, yo. Moving on, this is um a book chapter one verse four. Therefore the law is slack and judgment doth never go forth, for the wicked does come past about the righteous. Therefore wrong judgment proceeded, yo. This is a wrong judgment, yo. Celebrating this madness, this this abomination is wrong judgment. You know, having having this uh, this 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 Hollywood actor, which we all know the Hollywood scene is a bunch of demons, anyways. You know, promoting this, saying that you know, you know she's she's giving permission and license to whosoever is uncomfortable in their skin, basically whosoever out there who, who's a faggot, yo, or a lesbian, or a transgender, or a queer, whatever they want to, whatever the hell they want to call themselves, yo. Right, this is giving um confidence to them, yo. Right, she and the, and his bitch now is saying that. What God thinks is what's important. Well, here's what God thinks. This is Romans chapter 1 and verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the loss of their own hearts, to the son of their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served, served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever, a man. For this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one towards another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. Can't because this, this thing that has now become female or a woman or whatever she would, they want to call it, will go out and have sex with men, yo. So that's right. That's that's a man right there, right? In what they they, they call a female's body, having going going to have sex with another uh, uh, another man, yo. That's that, that's that's craziness, yo. That's abomination. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind. Come on, changing your your gender, right? Is reprobate, yo. To do those things which are not convenient. This is not convenient, yo. Right? Let's read the sum of the whole matter. Right? This is 
The last verse in the chapter, verse 32, who knowing the judgment of Yahweh, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Right, so this, 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 this Hollywood bitch right here who's saying that God loves transgenders and God supports this nonsense, right? She and those transgenders are going to be destroyed, yo. The time is the time is coming when the Lord is going to purge the earth, yo. Right, mother of God, let's get a priest of God. Right. This is, is, is total madness, yo. Total madness. Right. This is Amos chapter 9 and verse 8. Right. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from the face of the earth, say, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Right, because the elect of Jacob are going to be delivered from this, yo. the men and the women, mostly, chiefly the men who sigh and cry for the abominations that be done. Yo. This is an abomination, yo. right? This right here is an abomination. Right, having, having people supporting this, praising this, saying that this is beautiful is an abomination, yo. The Lord is about to destroy this wicked kingdom, yo, and all that it stands for, right? And we can't wait for that day, yo. We, we, we pray to the Lord, Yahweh, while Yahweh shy to hasten the day, yo, right? To hasten the day to deliver us from this vile and wretched kingdom, yo, from this vile flesh, yo, right? Where, where, where the devil is basically in command and the devil is pushing out crazy vibration on our people, yo. Destroying them right down to the root, yo. Our people are completely destroyed, yo. Right? There's nothing left. Right? There's nothing left for, for the Lord to just completely destroy this, the, um, the, the people on this earth, yo. And start a new way in the kingdom of heaven, yo. De delivering the elect and the one third, right? And just a few of the other nations to, to be slaves, yo. And to repopulate the other nations so they can be servants for the next thousand years, yo. Right? Death is the remedy for these people. Death is the remedy for this this this, this crazy place right here, yo. Death is the remedy model. Right? So we don't, you know, we're here ranting on, you know. I hope this lesson was edifying and again, you know, Kalalal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, double honors to the apostles, shalom to the, the brothers out there. You keep pushing, Akim, keep pushing.